Welcome to another Health News Video News Release brought to you by Health News. In today's news, we look at three things you can do to improve your gut health. The fact is, your gut health is important to your overall health. 80% of your immune system is in your gut, where microbiome, your body's bacteria, help your body with just about every function from helping you to digest your food, think clearly, and even maintain a healthy weight. Your microbiome is found in your gut and other openings of your body, such as your mouth, your genitals, and your nose. When your gut biome is balanced, you stay healthy and are in a good mood and have a lot of energy. When your gut biome is out of balance, you experience health issues, weight gain, diabetes, brain fog, and cancer. The good news is you can change your gut microbiome. The average lifespan of bacterium in your microbiome is 20 minutes. So you have the opportunity every time you eat to begin to change the population of your gut microbiome. Here are three things you can do today to improve your gut microbiome. One, eat the right foods. Remove the sugar and processed foods from your diet. Get your carbohydrates from vegetables and low sugar fruits. Include fermented foods in your diet like sauerkraut, pickles, kimchi, kefir, non-processed yogurt, and kombucha. Two, take a high quality probiotic. Probiotics help maintain your gut's ecosystem. Three, stay calm. If your microbiome is out of balance, you may feel anxious, depressed, or tired. The key is to keep supporting your microbiome with healthy food and lifestyle choices. Remember, your best source for everything health is your chiropractor. Visit your chiropractor regularly and make sure your nervous system is functioning 100%. Also, if you are watching this video on Facebook, please love our page, comment, and share. If you are watching this video on our YouTube channel, please subscribe. And if you are watching this video on our website and have not already done so, please add your name and email address to the form on this page. And that's it for today's health news.